Hello friends and people who are definitely not watching this because my last video has like five views and I'm pretty sure one is me because I definitely watched the whole video like an hour ago because I filmed it and posted it last night whilst on Ambien. Whilst? While. While on Ambien. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't do anything too crazy that I didn't remember. Anyway, it was fine. But I was like, okay, what what am I gonna rank next? So I was like, I'm a, I'm a rank DreamWorks movies, I guess. And the thing about DreamWorks movies, there's a lot more of them than Pixar movies. And the reason behind that is, they aren't as good, and they just like pump them out. Anyway, I'm gonna start off by saying, these are the DreamWorks movies that I have not seen. Or if I have seen them, it left so little impact that I'm pretty sure I haven't even seen it. Um, Crudes 1 and 2. How to Train Your Dragon 2 and 3. Penguins of Madagascar and Madagascar 3. Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3. <laughs> Abominable, Captain Underpants, Boss Baby, Trolls. don't know what this says. What does this say? No, here. It looks like it just says home. Home? There's a movie called Home, right? The one with the alien and the little black girl? Yeah, that one. Um, Home. Megamind, Puss in Boots, Rise of the Guardians, Turbo, Monsters vs. Aliens, Over the Hedge, Sinbad, and Ants. Have not seen those. I haven't seen them. I have no opinion on them because I have not seen them. Um, I forgot to tell y'all that I'm, I'm, I, have, I have a small piece of pie. Can't really, I can't really. I have, I have a pie. This is what I'm having for dinner. I have a small piece of pie and the entire thing of Cool Whip. Um, okay, now to my actual ranking as I open the Cool Whip. Um, ah! You know, I was hoping this would be a shorter video than the other one. And yet, here we are. Okay. So, ranking of ones I've actually seen. The worst one is Shark Tale. I remember liking it as a kid. I remember watching it over and over again as a kid. I remember watching the special features on the DVD. I remember they taught you the dances in, in, in the little dance instructional videos, Allison Stoner was in them, and that's all I remember, and I remember liking it, but as a movie, it's not that good, it's kind of cringy, it's actually really cringy, it's just a bunch of pop culture references, it's like they wanted Finding Nemo, but they wanted all the celebrities in it, and then they decided to make all the fish look like the celebrities, and it's just really weird and uncomfortable. Um, number 17, Kung Fu Panda. I know that I've seen this, but I could not tell you anything about it at all. Do not remember any of the plot points, any anything about Kung Fu Panda. So, it's number 17. Number 16 is Madagascar. The first one, same reason. I cannot tell you anything that happens in that movie, except, like, animals break out of the zoo, which is probably the whole plot, but I'm sure there's more to the plot than that, but just animals break out zoo. Um, number 15 is Shrek the third, the worst of the Shrek films. It's just like, Why, why you have to make Fiona have triplets? And like, I don't know. I don't remember anything else of the movie except for that's the one where like, she tells him that she's pregnant. And Donkey is singing, um, Cats in the Cradle. And all I remember of that movie. <laughs> um, number 14 is B-Movie. I know that I've seen it, 
But, like, the movie is just, it's meme status at this point. Like, I could go watch the movie right now, and I probably couldn't tell you the exact plot. Like, I've watched it recently. I cannot tell you the exact plot. It's just, it's completely meme. Um, number 13, Trolls World Tour. I did not watch this willingly. We watched it on digital whenever it, like, first came out because movie theaters are, like, all clothes and stuff. My niece likes trolls. We watched it. I didn't hate it. I liked that the the one the one troll was voiced by Ozzy Osbourne or something. And I don't know. I liked it. It was it was okay. It, was, it wasn't something that like I'd willingly go and watch again. But like I could sit through it, and I did. Um, number twelve is flushed away. Like I don't. Like, I do remember this movie, but I don't, like, it's not memorable, if that makes sense. It's like, if somebody was like, hey, remember the movie Flushed Away? I'd be like, oh yeah, that's that movie. It's that other rap movie. <laughs> but, um, but it's not something I think about. Like, I remember m myself watching it. If that makes any sense. Like, I've seen it a few times, but it's just, like, it's not memorable in a way that, like, most other movies are where I quote them on a daily basis. Like, I couldn't quote Flushed Away. It's, it's a movie that if I saw it on, I'd watch it. But, like, it's not memorable. Um, number 11, Madagascar 2. Because I actually remember bits and pieces of Madagascar 2. I believe it's Madagascar 2, when the zebra guy, who I believe is named Marty, says, oh sugar honey iced tea, and I think that's hilarious, because this is a kid's movie, and those initials spell out shit, and that's funny, um, what else, um, where are we at, number 10 is Shrek 2, and I know people are going to get offended because for some reason everyone loves Shrek 2 so much. And they're like defending it. Saying it's better than the first one. Like, no, what are you saying? And I feel like the people who say that only say that because they only had a copy of Shrek 2. And they didn't have a copy of Shrek 1. And it's just, it makes no sense. I'm pretty sure other people really like Shrek 2 because of the fairy godmother singing I Need a Hero. But it's just like, I don't know. There's good parts of Shrek 2. Human Shrek, great. Priest, the, police brutality jokes. The catnip jokes. It's just, there. there's jokes in there that are funny. And I like them. But it's not something that it's like, ooh, let's watch Shrek 2. Um... Number nine is Shrek Forever After, and this is probably only so high because I've watched it, I think I've watched it once. I might have watched it before, but like not actually watched it, but the last time that I watched it, it affected me because like the plot is a what if things had turned out differently plotline and i love th those kind of plot lines because it just it skews from the continuity and it's total fan fiction and i love it but then it's like he realized he he what he has is what he wants and that makes me cry and i did um number eight is peabody and sherman because i like to <laughs> I liked them, and I like, I liked the cartoon. I think this is like a really good adaption of an old cartoon, and it's just not a common thing. And this is like an adaption that's like faithful and sticks to the spirit of the original show. Um, number seven is Spirit. I grew up watching Spirit, but I was not a horse girl. I really like the series, the uh, 
spirit riding free. Like, it's one of the less annoying shows my niece likes. So, I like that. But, the original movie, my favorite part is the part where they're trying to break spirit. And they're failing miserably. And the song is like, get off of my back. Getting into my game. And that's all I know of the song. But I like that scene. That is my favorite part of the movie. Um, Number six, Wallace and Gromit. Just because I fucking love Wallace and Gromit. Like, honestly, I couldn't tell you what goes on in this movie. I know there's a were-rabbit. But, like, I just fucking love Wallace and Gromit. I love Claymation. That, that's why they're so high on here. Um, Number five. Is Chicken Run. I love claymation. There needs to be more claymation. But Chicken Run is just like Chicken Holocaust. With who had the idea to make a children's movie with chickens about the Holocaust? And it's just it's wonderful, and I love it. And I I quote it at least weekly. So it just. Flip, flop, fly, don't care if I die. Um, number four, I think it says, it's supposed to say how to train your dragon, but it just says how train drag. Um, this one I watched recently, and by recently I mean within the last year, and I really liked it, and I regretted not watching it sooner. It, I liked it. Because, like, little guys can do big things. You can do big things even if nobody believes in you. Even if your dragon is a broken wing. You can fix his broken wing. Because, like, I don't know, I have disabilities, and I just, I think that's cool. And then by the end, he loses his leg, and then they're matchies because they both are missing something. And it's cute, and I love it. I should probably watch the sequel. Um... Number three is Road to El Dorado. <laughs> because this is the only DreamWorks movie that I know of that just straight up has a character getting a blowjob. Like, tell me that Shell was doing something else. Like, she was sucking his dick. That's exactly what was happening. But, I don't know. I, I just, I've always loved Road to El Dorado. On the trail we blaze and whatnot. I have it on tape somewhere. Really like it. Um, number two, we have Shrek. Because Shrek is iconic. At any point in time, I can close my eyes and just watch Shrek. Which I feel like a lot of people can do because they have watched Shrek a lot. I could definitely, definitely recite Shrek. But it's not number one. Because number one is Prince of Egypt. And it, it's my favorite movie based on a book. The Book of Exodus. And it's my favorite Bible based book. Best adaption of a Bible story. Closely followed by Jonah, VeggieTales movie. But that's a different ranking altogether. But Prince of Egypt is just, it's, it's so beautiful. And it's its classic hand-drawn animation for the most part, I believe. And I just, I love classic animation, not all this computer stuff. We don't see that anymore. The music of Prince of Egypt can deliver us. It's just, it, and like, what's the other song? When You Believe. I don't know. It's like, I when I first watched this movie, the majority of the time in my life when I watched the movie Prince of Egypt, I was not religious. I would not identify as Christian. I do now. Didn't then. I, was, I definitely identified as, like, atheist agnostic during whenever I was, like, 14. But I really liked Prince of Egypt because it's just, it's so beautiful, and it's such a good story, even, like, in spite of it being a Bible story. It's great. It's it's depicted really, really well. It is Prince of Egypt. 
Okay. I've linked everything. And based solely on being here while this has been recorded, I'm much better at these rankings when I'm on Ambien. So I think I'm just, I'm going to start doing these while on Ambien. I will post this. Because I've spent the last 15 minutes doing this. But. These rankings are definitely. Nighttime. After ambient. Kind of things. Because I'm less fun when I'm not on ambient. I'm sorry you had to sit through this. Nobody's watching this. So who am I kidding? Like three people are going to watch this. Anyway. I'm going to eat my pie. Peace, I guess. Okay, bye.